What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the CUO for you YouTube channel. For another five minute preview here on the channel, it is the Carabao Cup first round. Carlisle United take on Stoke City at Brunton Park tomorrow evening um, in a game that hasn't been played in a very, very long time. But Carlisle hosting the game at Brunton Park, which means Stoke have to make the trip from the bet. 365 stadium all the way up to Cumbria to take on Carlisle. It's not too far of a trip, especially compared to the one that Carlisle have just had against Gilligan. Um, where to be honest, you know, I don't even know what team we're going to pull out from the Gilligan game to this one, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. But Stoke City, the Potters, as they're known, were founded in 1893. Their current manager is Stephen Schumacher. And they play the football at the Bet365 Stadium, which holds 30,089. And the trip for any Stoke fans making the trip down will be a 308-mile round trip, which will take just over five hours and ten minutes, which isn't too bad of a journey, especially up to Carlisle anyway. But... You know, I'm not I'm not really sure what support I'm expecting from them on the Tuesday night in the Carabao Cup. But last time we met was in 1974 at Brunton Park, where Stoke won with uh, two nil. There, and we had an attendance of listen to this. We had an attendance at Brunton Park of fourteen thousand five hundred and seven. Now, just before anyone wants to get in the comments and correct me, and we actually played Stoke in 2018, we played Stoke under-21s in 2018, and that was a 1-1 one -one draw, as you can see there. But the last time we played Stoke, as in actual Stoke's first team, was in 1974. Now, Stoke have a um, free... Three wins, two losses, a 2-1 win over Crew in pre-season, a 1-0 loss to Stockport, a 1-0 win over Bolton, a 1-0 loss to AZ Alkmaar, which is a team that I never thought I'd be saying on a five-minute preview. And they beat Coventry um, on Saturday, 1-0 in the Championship. Carlisle, as you already know, a 4-1 against Gilligan, a 2-1 win over Stockport, 2-0 lost the Gatehead, a 2-1 defeat to Rochdale, and there's who draw to send me in pre-season. So my Carl at 11, and as I say, I have no idea what he's going to do. Um, I've went with an unchanged team, apart from one man, and it is Gabe Brees in there. So I think this is a good opportunity to give Brees a chance. You know, it's a cup competition that I don't think we're really expected to get past Stoke, if, if I'm being honest. Um, and as I say, I, just, I have no idea what he's going to pick. If he's going to pick this team, if he's going to pick a different team altogether, I have no idea. But I would keep the same team. Um, obviously, I've made a change. I've took out Dan Butworth for Ben Barkley. Uh, but this is what was played um, against Gilligan, apart from the goalkeeper. But I think this is a good opportunity for Gabriel. You know, Harry Lewis, unfortunately, had a poor game against Gilligan. And Gabriel is coming into a game that, you know, if we win, it's probably going to be a bit of a shock. You know, I don't, I'm not expecting us to win. Um, I can't imagine a lot of people, you know, Stoke are a championship side, but whether or not Stoke play a full championship side or not is a different question entirely. But I think it's a good opportunity for Gabriel. If he has a really good game, why not start him in the league? If he doesn't, you know, I don't think we lose much from that, you know. Um, but for the predictions, I'm not going to give every prediction for every game in the Carabao Cup because <laughs> we'll be here for a lot longer than five minutes. But I won't be for one one draw and Stoke to win on penalties. Um, why not? I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea what team Carlisle are going to play. I've got no idea what Stoke team's going to be like. So I went with a 1-1 one, one and Stoke to be able to 3 on penalties. As you can see at the minute, Stoke are 7th in the Championship. Um, very respectable. Obviously, we've only played one game. And Carlisle are, um, as you know, 24th in League 2, which is a wonderful start of the season, isn't it, to be bottom of the league. Um, but... That's what I've gone with. What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Carlisle are going to get a result against Stoke, or do you think Stoke are going to be too good of a team for Carlisle to be to to come up against um this early in the season? As I say, it's difficult to to predict who is going to play right on the pitch for Carlisle. Who's going to be on the pitch for Stoke? It it is one of them where it's just completely up in the air. You'll find out sort of on the night and hope for the best. But what are your predictions? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're a Stoke fan, what are your predictions? What do you think is going to happen um, tomorrow night down the front of park? Are you making way up to, to front of park if you are? Safe travels to you guys. But if you're new here, follow my social, stay up to date. That is Facebook X or Twitter, whatever, Instagram, at CEO for YouTube. And if you're new here, why not leave a like and subscribe for some weekly Sky Bet League 2 content. But for now, I've been CEO for Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. It's gotta go somewhere. I lost my vision, I lost my goal. I lost my ambition, but you never, ever.